He went under, and I was just running on the beach, asking everybody, my husband, my husband, have you guys seen my husband? Only on KSL, a South Jordan woman speaking for the first time after her husband drowned in Puerto Rico. Annette Curves is now talk, taking action to try and prevent others from experiencing a similar tragedy. New specialist Debbie Worthen spoke exclusively with Annette. Debbie, how's she doing? Well, she is hanging in there. She says next month she is going back to that Playa Escondida Beach where her husband drowned. And she's hoping to put up warning signs for others to tell them the waters there are not safe. She says her husband is just one of many who have died in those waters. And if she can save even one life, her husband's death won't be in vain. He was just big <laughs> in every way. Life with Ben Curbs. Every adventure there is, he would do it was always exciting. He was just large. I mean, he just, he did everything to the fullest. Jake Thomas. Uh, he was my best friend. Met him eight years ago playing pickleball. A tremendous influence in my life. It's been a tough couple of months. I think about it every day. I miss him tremendously. Annette, Ben, and their son were swimming in Puerto Rico in October when things went terribly wrong. My seven-year-old actually started screaming, Mom, it's pulling me, it's pulling me. Annette said the undercurrent was strong and Ben had already gone farther out. As soon as we got to shore, I just looked out at Ben and I could see he was struggling and basically that was the last time I seen him. She screamed for help, but it was too late. The conditions too dangerous. Even rescuers had to be saved. I started screaming. These lifeguards need help because they couldn't get back. They were stuck in the same whirlpool. Annette says last week she heard of another tragedy and she decided to take action. Be aware, enter with caution, and no lifeguard on duty. She reached out to one of the lifeguards who works on the beach. Next month, I'm going to go there myself. She'll take these warning signs, including a cross with Ben's pictures, to place outside that beach. Showing that this is real and riptides are real and someone died here. She says Ben would want her to help. If Ben could save one person and his life be sacrificed, he would do that. <laughs> Jake agrees. One of the greatest lessons he learned from his best friend wasn't on the pickleball court. He wasn't a guy that would sit around and ask questions. Hey, should I do this? Should I do that? He just did it. Helped people, made them feel comfortable, taught them how to live life to the fullest, something Jake will never take for granted. He just always went out of his way to do whatever for everyone. Annette says when she walks that beach, she will know she's doing what Ben would want her to do, even if this adventure is without him. Annette said she loves Puerto Rico and she's hoping that going back to that beach, to that area, will give this deep loss more meaning. Back to you. Now that is a brave effort that she's taking on. Debbie, thanks.